Hans-Peter Mariner, CEO, Polisod. What is Polisod? A dynamic, innovative company. We are inventors in orbital tube welding, tube welding by an automated process called TIC orbital welding. It's definitely considered as innovative technology and a continuously evolving technology. We implement continuously latest state-of-the-art technologies into our equipment to make the machine more and more intelligent. Why would I want to apply orbital welding in my plant? Simply because you want to eat safe food. Why is orbital welding better than manual welding? It's better in any means, in any sense. Reduced cost, guaranteed result, independence from the operator, the welder behind the machine, and at the end of the day, it is a guarantee for safe food, as long as the other environmental conditions are also there. What parameters determine the quality of an orbital weld? Okay, All the parameters which are directly related to the welding parameters are built in the system today. There is a library, you choose your application and the machine will provide the correct program. Ahead of the welding program are the preconditions, meaning quality of the base material, the pipe, the tube, quality of the fitting, quality of the end preparation, cleaning of the tubes. These are the preconditions and they are more or less the same for even the manual welders. How can end users and equipment providers contribute to a better end result when it comes to hygienic welding? Uh, simply by knowing each other's uh, constraints and to adapt to those constraints. It's not necessarily change everything, no, simply to see what's possible within reasonable economical uh, conditions uh, to improve the result simply by knowing each other's constraints and see what's possible within uh, reasonable economical parameters. Armor Inox fait partie du groupe Middle Bee. On est une entreprise de chaudronnerie. On est fabricant de matériel pour l'agroalimentaire. La base de notre métier, c'est la chaudronnerie et la soudure. La soudure automatique est arrivé chez nous il y a 14 ans. Nos compagnons s'y sont mis très très vite et puis ils ont trouvé très vite aussi un confort d'utilisation. L'avantage de ce matériel automatisé, c'est qu'on a une qualité qui est supérieure et surtout une régularité, ce qui permet de répondre à toutes les exigences de nos clients. Également, donc les gains de productivité qui peuvent aller de 15 à 25%. Et surtout, il y a la partie sécurité, puisque aujourd'hui, euh, bah, tout le monde fait la chasse au TMS. Et donc, il est important de protéger euh, nos compagnons. Et on travaille avec Polisoud depuis environ euh, 14 ans. Et à partir du moment où on amène du confort et de la facilité, je dirais que ce n'est pas très dur de s'adapter. Now, EH recently published an update on uh, the uh, welding guideline, uh, which addresses these general directives on how a hygienic weld should look like. You can show that here in your company as well, right? Yes. The best is to make you a live demo right after. Hello, my name is Miguel. Uh, I'm the technician from Polisuit. Um, so today uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to use the different welding heads uh, for for the food industry, okay, like UHP 625 for the small diameter, like 635 for uh, uh, half an inch, and also the MW65. Uh, so we have different gamma of these products and these products also. Uh, in this moment, I will show you how to use, how to put and position the MW65. So uh, only you must to open the chamber head. Put it on the position between the line of two tubes. Okay, you close back after you close the second one and you press stop. And that's it, really it's simple. So, for the first one, this one is a good shape outside and even inside, it's really flat. So, it means it's a good uh, result of welding. 
is not so uh, so tolerate. So and the second one, as you see, uh, all around is concave. So and also inside, I don't know if it's possible to see, but inside you can see really rust. Okay, uh, inside. So and that's not so good for the liquids inside it, because uh, you, you can have some impurities there inside. Customers, you visit clients and you listen to them, and you translate their needs into services, products, and collaborations. Mm -hmm. um, why is that so important to be on site with the client? Why can't you just sell them the machine? I want to see the real situation. So finally on the plant, I find the real situation with the right people who are doing it by today and need to do it by tomorrow. There is a human factor, first of all, that people need to change from manual to automatic welding. And they need to know the reason why. But I want to know the reason why things are maybe not working or maybe why they have to change into orbital welding. Mm -hmm. So the practical part is a very important part and therefore we need its cooperation with the customer on site. It also means more work, right? I need to think ahead more clearly. It's true. You mean you have to anticipate what you yes. are doing. Like in any case of automation, you have to structure your process. But it's beneficial to anticipate less surprises. Mm -hmm. But still, you have requirements to the tubing, for example. Does this mean that I am limited in my choice of tubing, it's a very important asset. You are not limited in any way uh, through the raw material to the base material as today the orbital weldable material or the orbital conform material is widely available in the market. And it became even an argument for the suppliers of tubes, for the suppliers of fittings, as they also offer two qualities and differentiate themselves because the uh, quality is continuously improving. The technology from the machine is ready to reach the result we are looking for and the market is looking for. The thing which we need to establish, where we need to put our time in, is cooperation. First of all, there is the end user, who is a food processor. They, first of all, need to have the right hygienic requirements made by the right engineering, all adapting to the same quality as what we need for the orbital machine. Uh, think about the training and the education from an operator for a welding machine, for the one who makes the cutting of the tubes. It's a family of all kinds of different disciplines which we need to combine to have this cooperation efficiently. You are an EH member for quite a while now, company member. EH offers guidelines, certification, training. What do you use, apply? First of all, EH is a platform for us. We are a medium-sized company. Thanks to EH, we have access to the world of uh, hygienic uh, food industries, hygienic requirements. Uh, EH uh, it has, it gives guidelines, definitively, but it's first of all the dynamism of the members which is of interest to us. Yes, it's very important to use the EH uh, organization, that means including the members, especially the members, to put their experiences on one table and to share the good and the bad practices. Because in real, at the time there is a good practice, we can only learn that we did a good job. But finally, it's the bad practice which shows what needs to be improved. Thank you, Case Nurse. Hans-Peter, thank you for your invitation. Thank you. Thank you.